Welcome on Gaming Thin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. And my friends, today we have to talk about Ubisoft. So every day something is happening in this gaming industry world, especially at the moment where, where the stocks, the gaming stocks are actually crashing and have red extreme volatile moves. All right, Ubisoft today down 9%. Per cent, nine per cent. So let's let's break this down. So first we look at the chart, and then my friends, we're going to check out the reason, and I'm going to explain to you why this is a problem. What happened today? All right. So yeah, looking at the chart, so we broke through this uh, the trend line that started in the beginning of 2023, and we didn't manage to break through the Fibonacci retracements around about 30 euros. So we're going down again, and it's it's possible, in my opinion, that we can see the 24 euros again on a mere technical perspective, because it seems that the, the trend is actually broken now, and it's kind of sad to see this, because Ubisoft was doing quite well, was doing quite well but what happened today uh is is probably for yeah i mean it's it's a technical reaction on the one hand but on the other hand uh, this could also affect uh, the sentiment of some investors so investors like me because i'm invested in ubisoft all right guys so here it is here it is this is the this is the news my friends this is the news and uh, yeah, i'm going to read this now to you fully and then i'm going to explain it to you so shares of ubisoft entertainment slumped after the make of assassin's creed franchise blah, 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 place bonds place bonds convertible or exchangeable into shares to bolster its financial flexibility so that's what they say refinance existing debt and to fund repurchase of shares. so and uh, a little note so they said they said they're not going to have debt that that was the plan so they are not going to have debt but they never said that they're going to a place convertible bonds so keep this in mind so this is a new moment so we never expected this so in their outlook this was not part of part of the outlook so there therefore you see even if the company says something sometimes it just comes differently so Ubisoft shares traded 9% lower, shares opened and blah, blah, blah. Ubisoft said Tuesday that it had raised 494.5 million euros from the placement of the convertible bonds. The bonds have a December the 5th, 2031 maturity date, a 2.875% coupon and a 47.5% conversion premium. So hey, where can I even buy those bonds? While the new bond comes with a higher coupon and entails up to 9.6% delusion, assuming full conversion, it extends the weighted average maturity of Ubisoft's balance sheet at a reasonable cost. So we never expect this coming. So this is what the city analyst says. So shares were expected to open roughly 7% down. So now we're even more down. Uh, up some percent down after the placement the analyst said but the inc incremental comfort it gives on the risk profile over time we think will be well received so this is what the city analyst thinks ubisoft plans to use about half of the funds it raised to repurchase up to 250 million in shares so now we are in the financial engineering world guys so that's something very special all right, let's break this down. Let's break this down. Then uh, also another news was coming here uh, also. So let's break this down. Let's break this down, my friends. <laughs> All right, so I uh, I have a nice summary, and this summary I used a chat GPT. So no, don't 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 uh, start now uh, getting angry because that's the future. So, so the paragraph here describes Ubisoft Entertainment's decision to place convertible bonds to raise funds for various purposes, including strengthening financial flexibility, refinancing existing debt, and fund funding the repurchase of shares. So all of this is correct so what is a convertible bond so ubisoft place bonds that are convertible into shares so you have a bond and then the bond is convertible into shares this means that bond holders have the option to exchange these bonds for ubisoft shares at a certain conversion rate and here we see even with a premium so purpose of fundraising the company raised an, uh, around about 500 million euros through this placement ubisoft plans to use about half of these funds uh, to repurchase its own shares 
chair. So this is actually the opposite of delusion. This would mean the delusion would, uh, yeah, would would be uh, would be uh, reduced by 250 million. So, but they say this at the moment. So we 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 don't know how what the effect is if this is really going to happen. So because then it would be less delusion. So so potential delusion. Then the city analyst here says in the note that we could lead up actually here to 9.8 uh, to 9.6 percent delusion delusion in this context refers to the potential impact on existing shareholders if bondholders convert the bonds into shares it could increase the total number of shares outstanding reducing the ownership percentage of existing shareholders then city analyst acknowledges the potential delusion but emphasis that the new bond Bond helps extend the weighted average maturity of Ubisoft balance sheet at a reasonable cost. And this is again, this is again the point. They always said their balance sheet, my friends. They always said, yeah, we're going to have done a, a positive, a positive balance sheet for 2024. But if if this is not a way how we achieve this positive balance sheet with those 500 million roundabout. 500 million and they said they're going to have a positive balance sheet of 400 uh, million uh, this was i think the outlook was it 400 million i think something like this uh, so now they achieved this wire the bond the bonds and diluting at the same time the shareholders wow wow so city analyst then says they suggest that the market might respond positively over time due to the improved risk profile, even though the shares were initially expected to open lower. Hmm. So in summary, while the placement of convertible bonds has the potential for dilution, it obviously has, uh, if fully converted. So yeah, that's exactly. So they, there's, they're not necessarily going to be fully converted probably and they're not necessarily going to be fully converted if i understand this correctly with the maturity uh directly so the, the that's maybe a positive element so that they're going to be converted with a maturity of 2031 so ubisoft's decision is viewed by analysts as a strategic move to manage its financial profile refinance debt and fund chair fund chair repurchase the long-term benefits such as an extended maturity profile are seen as positive so what i just said and the initial share price drop might be outweighed by the perceived improvements in the company's risk profile shareholders may experience some delusion but the strategic benefits could contribute to the company's overall financial health so that's what they say this is what the analysts say so since i'm not a financial advisor i'm not such an expert like those analysts so we're just believing them that it's good so but on the other hand guys on the other hand the chairs were <laughs> we have nine percent down but we have a long-term maturity maybe the delusion is done a little bit uh, slowly but i guess that's also that's also current practice probably in a lot of gaming companies and a lot of uh, stocks uh, companies uh, in general so but for now the stock is down we have delusion also had this in other companies that i own but here i think yeah because i followed here very closely uh, what what they were saying about uh, their balance sheet for 2024 and therefore i'm a little bit more a little bit more surprised let's put it like this guys so all right so leaving it here wanted to give you this news to break it down give you more explanation uh, how this uh, needs to be understood especially since we're all not financial experts we're all like gamers that like investing in gaming companies uh, we know the games uh, and sometimes uh, we have to explain to ourselves all this financial engineering a bit better so if you like this video if you want to have more videos like this about this financial engineering aspect then please uh, comment like and subscribe thank you see you